Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we're going to start. We're going to be working on a, on a uh, centrifugal pump here, and we're going to be tearing this pump apart. But we're, the first thing we're going to be using is my little gantry here in the shop. Now, this gantry is a little bit different than one that would just run down tracks or stay in a straight line. I've actually incorporated two pivots up here at the top so that the legs can pivot independently from each other and maneuver around. And that's how I'm able to bring it around from this lathe here swing that in over there from that side of the uh, mill and I, you know I can get it weaved in and out of the machinery in such a small shop. Alright we got uh, we got our points here and we moved our part over here so we're uh, kind of relaxed and we're in the middle of this uh, work area right here and uh, we're just going to separate the rotating unit from the snail or the housing the main main housing here. Um, we already know that the the shaft is broke the impeller is loose in here and this is all locked up now we've we've been rebuilding these and um, when we first started they could only get one of these pumps to last about three months and now we're putting these kind of throwaway pumps these are all cast iron cast iron impeller cast iron housing steel shaft uh, there's one stainless steel sleeve in it and a couple bearings and zerks and grease fitting and and uh, so and they pump in salt water every single day that this pump is being used and we're getting them to last a year's time which is pretty impressive for what we got to work with It's nice when you assemble everything with never sees. One year, one year ago, and this thing's been pumping salt water, and you can look at those studs. I mean, you can see the rust up here, but you put a little never sees, and uh, you know it goes a long ways. All right, we lift it, so we got uh, the the whole pump is floating there, and now we're gonna tap it with our rawhide mallet. And we're going to shock it loose at the gasket point here. Here it comes. All right, and there's the impeller, and uh, you can see that she uh, she breaks up right there, right at the uh, shaft's edge there. Originally, when we pulled this apart, we put three punch marks right here, three punch marks right here, and three punch marks right here. This aligns all th all three parts. All right, now we know that this is up faces upward when this pump is level uh, this goes directly up this is the top because this side here is the bottom where the drain is in case any water settles in there all right so that's a basic conform uh, assembly here is and th this marks are all on the top side here all right so I just wanted to show you that we didn't just pull it apart without knowing exactly where it goes and uh, this oil paper gasket, I'll see if we can pop that off of there, just so it doesn't get ruined. Um, we'll probably put a new one on, make a new one up when we put this back together. Uh, but we coated each side of our surfaces with never seize, and just like we do fasteners, and that's why we're able to get it off of here. That's why it stays pliable, and um, you know, we, we were able to actually unscrew these other fasteners right out of here by hand once we broke them loose. So um, we'll go ahead and set this off to the side here. We're going to lift this impeller out. And now we can take apart that rotating unit right here. Alright, we're going to You can see right here where that <clears throat> shaft is severed out of there. There's the keyway there, a bronze key I put in there. 
this is a steel shaft and uh, the bore of this there's some components there probably on you I'll have to look and see what they are they might be just more of that shaft right there and uh, anyway let's go ahead and we're just gonna lift this straight out and uh, it's not like we're gonna put some marks in here we're just trying to get a good grip on here and uh, these worn out vice picks work out pretty good here just grabbing give me a hand a hand hold Those are stainless rings that I machine rolled and machined on, heat shrunk on to this impeller. He's already pulled that nut and everything else, retainer off of that end there. I don't know where that's at. Yeah, this was painted it epoxy inside and outside this is all cast iron this is really looking fantastic for uh you know it shows you that that uh 150 and 151 haze gray uh paint really does hold up to the environment this thing pumps that salt and sand and everything else we got our two pump parts back from sandblasting and we just lowered them down off the trailer and you can see the humidity is already uh, the lightly uh, they were pretty close to white blast but uh, some of this dark impregnated uh, rust here uh, is starting to act with the oxidized so we're, uh, we're kind of racing to get some uh, coating on here now I've mixed up the we're using uh, um, 150 uh, primer and uh, we've already put in uh, one quantity of the green it's a two-part mix and here's the uh, catalyst for it and we're putting that in now uh, once once we have these two in here we're going to thoroughly mix them and then we gotta we gotta wait for it to uh, set about 15 minutes before we start painting and, uh, and then I wanted to show you a couple now I'm not I'm not telling you how to paint or I'm just showing you how I handle uh, some of this epoxies here and uh, I mean this is you see this in every Navy yard and uh, I mean I've seen a lot of steel painted with this stuff and I've seen a, you know how long it lasts how tough it is some really good stuff it's what's got uh, these pumps to last a year versus uh, three months kind of keeps them alive. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a couple minutes. I want to show you two rollers. This is this is the normal roller here, uh, uh, handle, and it's uh, bent in that shape there. And these are just foam rollers. And um, and I like I like this size because it really gets in here good, and the foam does a good coating on it. Now I learned when I first started doing these, there's some areas in there that you need to get poked in there and there. So I've taken one of these and straightened out the rod so it's straight. And, uh, uh, you know, just like a hot dog shish kebab here. And uh, we'll be able to get in there. And we'll get started here as soon as this takes a little set. I think that's sat long enough there. And, uh, Put some in the roller tray here. I'm gonna leave some in there. All right. Now, this. I mean, we want to make sure that we got good coating everywhere, and. Uh, We don't need to be neat. We're uh, we're trying to put protection on everything here. So I'm 
And these little foam rollers are pretty forgiving. They'll get right into all the nooks and crannies. Alright, after you've discarded all your other pain stuff and you've gotten your rollers off of your sticks, <clears throat> you clean up with distilled vinegar. White distilled vinegar takes some cuts epoxy like it's not even there. I mean, you smell like a pickle, but... Uh, you know, they just... You know, first time I learned about that, I was just totally amazed that something that you get out of the household is going to take something that you would have thought would wear off in a couple weeks <laughs> in a matter of seconds. And uh, then you can just go add some soap and water. And uh, it was like you were never even painting. All right? I'm going to go hit some soap and water now. All right, we're over here at the lathe, and we have a new impeller. This is cast iron impeller. Uh, I call them a throwaway pump. And that's the, that's the pump you saw me painting on the outside there. And um, so this is cast iron. In fact, actually, this has actually got a little damage. You can see it crack right there. And this is dented in. And uh, I'm gonna pop you out real quick so you can see that. All right, you can see how that's dipped in. And you can see that dip come around right there. All right, we're gonna repair that later. Right now, I'm gonna get back to my conversation here. The, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna bore out the inside bore for a layer of brass. We're gonna braise the bore up. The reason why we're doing this, not because this is sloppy or whatever to the shaft, because it's a pretty good fit, all right? Now remember, this pump is going to pump salt water. <laughs> this is a, a steel shaft and this is a cast impeller. If you disassemble this and put it in salt water and let these clamors pump salt water with it all day long, come in, shut it off, start pumping again tomorrow, come in, shut it off, and do this every day in, in service. The corrosion and rust build up and this fatigue and breaking off the stub here happens within about three months time. Now by going through and brazing up the bore, this bore here is, it's, it's this, when this rust corroded it swelled and uh, created a larger bore. I can't you know, I, I had this blasted up thinking I might be able to reuse it, not without work. Uh, you know, it has bell mouth, that bore, and also it's worn real, real thin.